This is actually the custom that I'm gonna be making for my free comic book day. So, tools that I'm using right now is uh, just using two regular blades. Uh, getting these pliers. And these I use to bend metal, cut metal, hot glue gun. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have right now so far. These are actually gonna go on the gloves. And what I use right here is that I use some sheet metal. And I didn't actually buy it, I just found it in my garage. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh! tin card game. So I just cut pieces off of it. If you guys have extra tins that you don't need, you guys could just um, do the same thing that I'm doing. So it's pretty useful. I used foam, um, thin foam sheets for the, the, um, the padding of it, and then I just put the metal on it. And I'm actually going to spray paint this, so this is not the finished product yet. Alright, as you guys can see, he also he's also wearing a belt and a belt buckle, a utility belt. So for that, I actually got some electrical boxes that I found in uh, my tool shed. These, we're not actually going to use these, so this was trash. What I liked about these is that you can open these things. So yeah, that's pretty tight. You can actually snap it in there too. And I just opened them up and put a couple of sheet metal. And I'm gonna actually um, gonna go over these with a couple of fabric, like thick fabric, similar to the color of his belt right there. And then I'm gonna put them together in a belt so I can make my utility belt out of it. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated with this too. Another thing that I did is. For my belt buckle, I just went to Hobby Lobby. Bought one of these um, wooden circle things. 79 cents, so not bad. I used more of that um, Yu Gi Oh card game tin metal. And I was able to glue this on with hot glue. So this, I'm actually going to spray paint this also the color. So it won't really be noticeable that there are two different types of materials. Right now, you can definitely notice it, but you won't. I actually had to go down a little bit. On that side with the knife lower it down a little bit and then I put this other sheet metal part right there so yeah that's my status right now now I was able to actually buy some paintball gloves these will I will actually spray paint green also I'm gonna stick this thing on to it like that so I'll pull out the gloves just so you guys a little better view this is the glove Stick this thing on it, and then sort of like that. Everything is also, and this glove is gonna be green, so yeah. All right, so that's my update right now. I am gonna actually be updating another video after this, but it's gonna have everything updated, right? Go. All right, now as you guys can see, I'm gonna use this right here for my belt. I'm gonna cut this in half, and then I'm gonna add some of this stuff um, to the pieces that I already showed you guys for the belt. So for this, I'm actually need a. Uh, that, that tool right there, so I can cut the middle, slice it in half, because you can't slice it with the both pliers. So if, we, if you're gonna do something like this, make sure you wear safety glasses and a face mask. That was actually well, I don't. You can wear something in your arms too, but I don't mind the sparks in my arms, only, only in my legs. So that's why I put on a pair of pants. to cut a pieces and you guys do not have to make your belt this way but I just like the texture of this metal that I found this stuff right here so I'm gonna be cutting these pieces off with the pliers and adjusting it to fit to fit in the belt that I have you guys do not have to do this this is totally anonymous but this is the way I'm making it because I want to make it more of a realistic look to the utility belt 
Now, make sure that if you guys do do this, and you guys are kids, um, use uh, an adult to help you, because this, uh, this power tool is an angle grinder, and this is dangerous. You know, it will burn you no matter what. And if you use this, make sure you wear uh, safety goggles, gloves, and a face mask, because it will burn through your, um, it'll burn your face. Actually, they not need a long sleeve t-shirt because should I say long sleeve shirt because I don't mind the sparks in my arms. In my legs I do, but not on my arms. And make sure that you also use um suede or leather gloves because this actually burned through the glove. You guys can see. I wear the glove. You guys will, will see what I mean. There. So it was burning me, but I don't really mind it either. Like I said, I don't mind my arms getting burned. No. I'll keep you guys updated with what, what I'm gonna do with this then. So that way you guys can see what I mean by the bell having these this texture right here, right? All right, now what I did is that I got those two big pieces and cut them in smaller pieces. So that, that way I can use something like this and stick this stuff onto it, that. And then get all of the pieces that I have together and make a belt, you know? So start with something basic like that and I get this and fix it up so it could be nice and neat and I just put it together. Alright so make sure that before you guys decide to do something like this, if you guys decide to, because like I said there's easier ways to doing utility but you don't got to use metal. But if you decide to use something like this, make sure you get an adult to help you. If you are an adult, make sure you're careful because this not only burns you but it can actually chop your limbs off seen cases where people actually cut their fingers off chop their arms off legs because they're not careful with this thing so make sure you guys are careful all right so it was actually just finished um painting the clip for the, the cloak and this is a belt buckle and these are actually i just use this the design that i told you guys about paint them gold and these are actually going to go around here that and this one's actually not done because what I originally had intended was putting in a drop of hot glue and then over here I had a foamy made with this I had cut out a foamy in the form of a T but I didn't like the way it looked once it was painted so I took it off and I'm gonna take these off too what I did what I thought looked better was I got some like I cut some metal strips put them in the form of a T with Gorilla Glue and I also put um, some nuts there, so that looks better than this. It's a comparison. This is, this right here is actually gonna be my staff holder, so I'll, I cut it so that, that way the staff could fit through here and then be inserted in the hole and it could stay there. I'm actually not done with this either, but I will. Once, I'll show you guys once it's done painted. Now it should go around there. All right. So that's my status in the belt right now. And as you guys can see, it is actually snowing outside. And it's very, it's, we're living up north, so it's kind of freezing. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to work outside today for my costume, so. Today is just gonna be like a day off, I guess. Alright, so now I'm basically done with my belt, and I wanted to tell you guys that I actually did not use clay for this. I was thinking of using self-hardening clay for this, but at the end I didn't. I just, Like I said before, I just used strips. I wanted to fix that before I finished uploading this. I'm done spray painting this, the staff holder. I will actually also clean that. So this is my finished belt right here. Hope you guys like it. Now about that, the only one designs that I used from that cut metal that I cut earlier was where was this one, this one, that one right there, and this one right here. The other ones were in the big boxes, but I actually ended up not using them because I found out that they were not gonna fit. So yeah, it's kind it kind of sucks, but because I actually worked on them and made them look good, all I needed was a painting job and they would be ready. Needed some velcro right there too so I could strap it. But who knows, maybe I could use this for a 
future project of some of, of uh, another custom that I'll most likely make in another time. Maybe I don't know. Who knows? Look pretty neat. Some clothes too. But like I said, they don't fit. So I'm pretty sure I can strap up the belt so it won't hang in any. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna be working on is actually gonna be kind of a problem for me because it's gonna be kind of tough. But I'm gonna be working on is gauntlets. Some people choose to call them gauntlets, arm braces, or protection pads, I don't know, but I call them gauntlets. So I'm going to be spraying painting those green. The The paint that I use for the, uh, the belt is actually a uh, rust -Oleum Specialty Metallic Gold. And I had no problem with that paint. I strongly suggest if you're going to paint a utility belt or anything in your custom that you guys are making gold, please pick this up because this will work. And this is actually the closest the closest you can get to the to to an actual gold color. I tried other paints and they don't look as gold as this. So this is very good, right? All right. All right. So what I did for the bow stuff is that I got a wooden dowel. I guess can see it there, and I put inside this like black um, plastic that I got. This was actually from a, um, a steam iron, and we didn't need it no more, so I just cut, cut the hose off and wrapped it around there. It has a split right here, but what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna like seal this. And the reason it was originally one big stick like this, but the reason why I cut it in half is because I'm gonna I feel it was too small. You guys can see. It's more like a cane right here. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna stick another piece of um, metal pipe and then make it longer in the middle. So right. Alright, so the stuff is actually 50% completed. I was able to connect those two pieces of uh, black holes of uh, dowel that I showed you guys earlier so this is one piece and this other piece and then in the middle I have that um, metal pole that I uh, talked about the, re the, the place where I got it was actually a wholesale warehouse where they sell a lot of this stuff but it, I don't know if you can find it anywhere because the reason why I got it is because my dad owns a canopy business so when he has to custom make a canopy for, for an order he chops off pieces of pole and he either throws them away or gives them to me. So I was able to get this from. So, closer look. And I may have to send this off because it's the glue that's sticking out of it. It's already hard, but. Yeah. For the middle, I'm gonna actually be using a cable. I'm gonna be cutting pieces off and then lightly uh, spray paint giving them a spray coat of gold for the middle section and I'm going to be using a couple of spring to stick out right here and on the other side as well all right so let me give you guys another back farther Let's see if... all right all right so I was able to actually finish uh, complete the staff um I think it looks pretty tight was able to finish it and got it to look exactly how I wanted it to look. I was actually going to use for the grip in the middle. I was going to use some cable like I mentioned before, but it didn't work because it didn't really like stick correctly using the glue that I was using. So I ended up using some gold duct tape for the grips. Put it right in the middle. I was able to put the springs that I mentioned too. I'll show you guys how I did that. I secured. I used some like black electrical tape and secured it there. So that way it won't be able to fall off because it is bigger than the pole the dowel I remember i told you guys i had like a gap you guys can see the line right there i added some the rest of the black electrical tape after filling in the gap with glue and then this was originally black but to give it a weathering look i added some silver spray paint there so i guess it looks all right so this is the overall thing right here all right so that's completed all right yeah. all right so the vest that I was able to get is this uh, X element men's padded vest and I, uh, I guess you guys are wondering how this is actually gonna look like this well tune in for part two of this tutorial and I'll show you guys how